Hi, James here. Um, I'm just going to answer one of my email questions here. As you know, I normally do them in a video like this, uh, simply because it's easier for me to quickly print out the email. I can answer the question in a video like this uh, because it's far easier for me because I can't type very well, I'm a rubbish speller, and some of the questions I have to answer require a really long answer. And rather than me typing out like a five page essay, it's easier for me to just answer the question in a video. Right, anyway, um, and just so you know, whenever I read out an email like this, I'm doing these videos in order of how I receive the email. So if I receive the email first, you'll get your email read out first. So first come, first serve, basically. Right, anyway. Um, so this email is another one I got which was slightly off topic because uh, normally I answer questions which are DJ and music related but this one's a little bit different but don't get me wrong I welcome that that's fine any question at all and if I know the answer I'll answer it if not I'll try and find somebody who does right anyway uh, this is the email I got this time hi James uh, I'd just like to say I love the videos thank you uh, I have a question, it's regarding Windows XP. Uh, I have three computers in my house. Uh, they're all custom built by my friend, but none of them have Windows installed. Uh, I looked in a shop and Windows XP is about 70 quid. Uh, that's fine, but the guy in the shop said I can only install one copy per computer. Is this right? Because I'm sure my friend installed Windows on two of his computers before. So if I can't install one copy of Windows on three machines, am I going to have to buy three separate copies of Windows? Or is there a way around it? Thanks, I appreciate your time and effort, Martin. Right, Martin. It's probably in your best interest to actually buy three copies of Windows. Um, just get Home Edition. Um, because the reason being is when you pay your um, 70 quid for your copy of Windows, what you're actually paying for is not Windows itself or the disk itself, what you're paying for is the license that comes with that disk. Um, the license is normally a little sticker on the box, or if you buy a new computer, uh, an OEM machine from, say, a computer shop, it should have a little sticker on the side which will have a 25 uh, character CD key on it. That is your license. If you've got that sticker, or if that sticker's on the box that Windows came in, that means that is a genuine Windows license. That's what you're paying for. Now, unfortunately, Windows is what's called single user license, which means it can only be installed on one machine. So the guy in the shop is right. You can only install one per machine. Um, this friend of yours who installed one copy of Windows on more than one machine likelihood it is he had a copy of Windows XP Professional. Now there's a slight difference between XP Professional and XP Home Edition. Uh, Home Edition is meant for, designed for one household PC, whereas Professional you can install on loads of machines. But the only trouble is with Professional it's still only a single user license. So if you install it on more than one machine, the first machine to activate it claims that copy of Windows and all the rest will be marked as non-genuine. To be honest, I don't know why they've done it that way, just the way things work. Um, so the only way around it is basically involves um, doing something that could possibly be illegal um, and it could validate your, uh, violate your uh, terms of agreement. And that is to buy a copy of XP Professional, install it on more than one machine, and if you look it up on the internet, I'm not going to tell you how, but there's a little way you can get round each copy of Windows not being genuine. Um, or you can purchase a license for each install of Windows, which is probably going to cost you a lot more than it would just to buy free copies. So, there you go. So, yeah, this friend of yours probably had XP Professional, because you can do that with XP Professional. But each copy will, like I say, every time you install... XP Professional after you've activated it the first time, you'll get a little message that will come up and say that validation failed and your copy of Windows is not genuine. Um, it'll probably come up with an annoying message saying you've been a victim of software counterfeit or something like that. They like to make it sound bad, don't they, when they 
you know, make these messages warning, you know. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, so that's the only way around it, I'm afraid, for that is to actually buy three separate copies of Windows. Um, now, you can get a multi license copy, which is a copy that you can install on as many machines as you like. Um, the only problem is, uh, one of those will probably cost you like quadruple figures. You're looking in the thousands for a copy like that. And only really businesses and uh, IT engineers and OEMs and stuff will actually have one of those copies because they're the only people that can actually get use out of it. Um, but I would recommend, strongly recommend, just buying three separate copies of Windows. So there you go. Uh, I hope this answers your question. Uh, if you've got any more questions, just leave a comment under the video or send me a personal message and uh, I'll get back to you with a video. Okay, thank you for watching. Nice one.